obviously some of these uh, downspouts go into the weeping tile around your home. If they go to the uh, city sewer system, which a lot of the old uh, weeping tiles do, this one here is a PVC pipe, so it's uh, we're in kind of a newer subdivision here. But if you're in an old subdivision, these could be old clay tile uh, pipes as well. It's important to measure the uh, width. This one here is three inches wide by two, in, uh, two inches on the width. So two by three downpipe is a very standard size because there's all sorts of different size downpipes. There's uh, two by three inches. There's uh, two and a half by two and a half. There's three inch by four inch. Um, there's three by three inch. So those are the main sizes that you need to find out um, what size you have, so then you can go source the right materials. Um, now, also, if you're going to go pick up some elbows, you're going to have to know if the pipe is rectangular, you're going to have what's called an A elbow and a B elbow. A elbows are flat. They run, they would be if you're extending it straight out from the house. So, this is only in regards to rectangular downpipe. But this would be an A elbow that shoots it this way. And this here will be called a B elbow. So when you put it on, you can shoot it that way. So if your pipe's rectangular, you'll need to know whether you need um, A elbows or B elbows. So we just take a pencil and uh, mark it. Where we're going to cut the, the pipe with a hacksaw. That's probably one of the easier things that uh, most homeowners might have around. Um, so I'll use a hacksaw to cut it. And keep a good grip on the downpipe because there's a good chance that if you push this around too hard at the bottom, some of the straps may come off the wall. Because on these old downpipes, sometimes the straps weren't done very good in the first place. So just be careful. You keep a good grip on it. That way the pipe won't fall off the wall on you. So. try cutting a little further with it. Another important thing too is to make sure that you don't cut it right through and then the pipe falls down inside the sewer, uh, the, uh, the drain tile. Okay, so we got that piece removed. you need is a pair of crimpers. These are going to crimp the bottoms of the, uh, the pipe. Now, you can buy these at like the Home Depot or Lowe's or any of those places usually have what's called pipe crimpers. They're probably about $30 and uh, they make this very easy. They're going to crimp this into a, a small end so that it'll actually fit inside the elbow. So we crimp all four corners. If you don't have these, you can try and use like pliers or try and just gently squeeze it in a bit to make it small. But the crimpers make it much easier. We have our pipe crimped. We're going to take our B elbow in this case, snap it over the pipe. You want to put um, a few screws in this bottom elbow. We usually put about four screws in it to make sure it's solid. Because you don't want these elbows falling off because it'll uh, allow a lot of water to drain alongside your home. Okay, so that's secure. Now, we got about a three foot extension piece here that we're gonna slide onto the elbow. So this is going to take the water away from the home, and because the ground slopes away from the house here pretty quickly, uh, three foot extension is lots. Like so. And then a couple of screws the extension on so it once again it doesn't fall off and that's
that's now going to take the water instead of going down underground into the city system which is overloaded and uh, can't handle all the roof water that's coming down. Um, it's going to put it safely onto the yard and often it's good for uh, watering your yard or um, uh, it's just better to have your water draining on your own property. Now, another thing is this is four inch uh, PVC pipe is the general size that you'll find. If you see this white PVC, normally it's four inches wide. But once again, you can also measure this stuff. It could be three inch, but this stuff is four. And once again, at your hardware stores, these are readily available. They're a cap that just fits right over that. So set that on. Another thing too is that, that we didn't cover is that you're gonna need to know what color it is. So if you're not sure what color it is, um, you can often take a little piece of the uh, pipe or the downpipe strap to the hardware store and uh, see if they have the color that you need. And also don't forget to take the measurements as well because of all the different sizes. Another key thing too when you're doing this is make sure that all your, over, your overlaps, that they go inside each other. So everything overlaps in a fashion so that nothing can drip out. So each seam, uh, if we have a seam here, the pipe coming down fits inside it, and same here, so that the water can't back out of these joints. If you do it the opposite way, then there will be water running out of all these seams. If you have an old clay tile drain uh, instead of the PVC, you might need to, um, um, you know, make a have someone make a cover for it. We have aluminum covers that we make to fit on top because it's not easy to find uh, covers for those old-fashioned clay tile pipes. So um, we fabricate our own covers for them, but also you could check a hardware store and see if they have some solutions for that.